Hey, welcome to Tech Tips with Sold Out Media. I'm Amanda. And I'm Linus. Today, we have the much long waited for and anticipated Zoom F2 BT. Now, as we've shown you guys, we've we've had the Zoom F1 LP. Yes. And we've been using it all year and have had great fun with it. Yeah, it's fantastic. If I had one complaint about this, mm. you, let me oh, know. Oh, yeah. There you go. Somehow conveniently, Linus broke my my battery door off, but his is fine. <laughs> it could be that I haven't used mine as much as yours. Actually, how did it happen? Because you, you no, was... I had it in my pocket. Yeah. And uh, the batteries were in my pocket as well when I took it out. So oh, it just... oh, they just fell apart. Yeah. So yeah, you can see that's a really flimsy design on the battery. That's my only only big complaint on this, except for as we said in the previous video when we're doing certain types of programs where you really want to be sure that you're not missing the audio, like our cooking program that we've done, and you you can't go back and make them re-fry a steak or re-cut a cake, you, uh, you really start to panic about whether or not the audio is recording. Yeah. This has the ability to monitor it wirelessly. <clears throat> because through the it's Bluetooth. Through the Bluetooth. Now, you can get this microphone just as the Zoom F2, no Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? 50 bu bucks less. 50 bucks less, but yeah. I mean, I spend the 50 bucks. Is it really 50 bucks less? <laughs> yeah. So let's open this up, huh? Yeah, let's do it. All right. This is the very first time we're opening this. I haven't seen it in person yet. I got it two days ago. It's very small packaging. It's a very small microphone. Yeah. Oh, look, you got instructions. Oops. All <laughs> kinds of instructions here. And here you can see, oh, it comes with batteries. Oh, nice. I had two we batteries. Were yeah, see, we didn't know. We had two batteries ready. Uh, it comes with three wind, uh, wind shields. Very nice. And here's the microphone. Now, this is the LMF2 mm -hmm. lav mic. So it's the upgrade from the LFM. One. The LFM brought, one. And we go with a F1. Exactly. These are pretty, they, they're pretty durable, but I have started to have a little bit of, uh, if you wiggle it hard enough, you start to hear a little bit of distortion in the line. But I mean, it was cheap. It was, it was cheap. And we, how, how much have you used it this year? All the time. Yeah. Constantly. So it's, it's good. This design of microphone is really, really prone to either getting worn out here yeah. or getting worn out up here. I mean, it's designed to be small mm -hmm. and small things break easily. Yeah, but it's anyway, yeah. That weird. It's not, it's not weird. It's, a, it's actually a, a regular broadcast cost. I, I order these things for the TV channel all the time. So it's, yeah. you just have to know that's Oh, wow, what is that doing. it? See how small it is? Oh my Lord, I thought that was like batteries this, or something. This, <laughs> <laughs> it's so small. Look how tiny it is. Oh wow! Compared to compared to. Wait, let me show you. I can take my own. The Tascam. Look. Yeah, it's even smaller than the Tascam. It's even smaller than the Tascam, and compared to the F1. Well, obviously, the F1 is huge. It's massive, right? And we thought these were tiny. Yeah. Well, this one is. I still appreciate the size of that one. It still has the screen, which I like. Mm-hmm. F1. Yeah, I really like that actually. And there, there are definitely some differences between these two microphones. For, for one, this guy only records in wave. Yeah. And you have MP3 and wave. And B. B. What is it? BMF? Yeah, broadcast wave format. BWF. BWF. Yeah. yeah. The other thing that you have with that is, is you have the screen control. But this one, you get the screen control through the phone. Yeah, or the software on, on your computer. Right. But anyway, let's let's check this guy out. Let's see. Very small. E is super duper small. Yeah. So, there's so I, I heard that this part was very flimsy and how it only holds together with this one piece. Much like our right. problem on this one. So right. that's something that you could be smart about being careful with when you open it. Right. So Zoom. Great microphones. Let's do a little bit better on the battery. Yeah, less plastic. That will drive the price up at least 50%. <laughs> so we had a micro SD card. This takes up to a 512 gigabyte. Which is huge. Audio files don't need. Yeah, it's, 
How long do you, are you planning to record? The I mean, battery like... only lasts for 14 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. in. Nice. It's in. So, mic it up, it's turn it on. Impressively small. Yeah. So there you go. All right. So something else that I read mm -hmm. was that some had issues with the jack in here where you just had to touch it like this. Yeah. So I thought we were just going to test that so we didn't have a faulty. Okay. Um, well, you know what we'll do? We'll just pause for a second and we'll grab, grab a headset and see if you can hear that in there. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So now we actually have some headset in there. Yeah, All and right. um, we're recording. Right on. And uh, I'm going to put this microphone side by side to the F1 that I have on. Mm -hmm. And first of all, we can do a side by side test. Now, the other great feature about this microphone that's really interesting is it has something called a floating uh, levels. What was it called exactly? It's the 32 bit. 32 bit floating. No, just float. 32 bit float recording yeah. technology. No. Yeah. Technology was the word I was looking for. Oh. With dual AD converters. So basically what that means is instead of setting gain or having auto gain, it's actually making sure that if I go too loud, it won't clip. And if I go too quiet, it, you won't hear that gain noise in the background, presumably. Yeah, no, you're supposed to be able to... So you record here mm -hmm. and with the technology in post-production, you're... Even if you're screaming, you're whispering, the, the information is there. You can just gain up, gain down, and there's no no clipping, nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to yell. Clip. No, no, no. Clip. 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 <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do a screen recording here. So you can see I'm in the, uh, I'm in the App Store on Apple right now. Yeah. And it says in its F2 control, Zoom Corporation, and I'm going to go ahead and install that. It's asking for my password, so... Yeah, give us your password. Jessica, don't put my password out on <laughs> Good. air, please. Good. Yeah, so now it's downloading. F2 That's Control good. would like to use your Bluetooth. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then it's looking for a device called the F2 yeah, so. and serial number to be blacked out later. So that your people at home can't. Also, now I oh, see. Oh wow! Look at that. Look at that. And what you can do is you can change your output volume, and, and that means that's, the, that's the, me right here. That's that there. The thing is, you can also record to the camera. You can run a line cable back to the camera from that output, and that's partly why this if, volume yeah. control is here. I can lock it here, so that I can't change anything. Hmm. When when the lock button when you go to the lock button it's locked. Yeah. But it, you know so if the icon for the lock is showing then you're not locked. So now I can access the menu, mm -hmm. and there's the low cut. There I can turn it on and off. Yeah. So you can access any everything through the app. That's right. Uh, or through Re your PC. Record settings. Do, so did we mention too that this only does 32 bit, 48 kilohertz or 44.1 kilohertz, yes. whereas the F1 does 96 as well. Yeah, it does 44.1, 48, 96, uh, 16, 24 bit on all of them. And it does all the different MP3 ones too, like it's it's a lot, right. you don't need that much. So you can monitor your battery, you can monitor your recording, recording levels, you can listen in from your phone as well. Yeah, yeah. just have a headset on from your phone, you can listen to this. No, exactly. So, I mean, what a terrific little device. Again, you're, you're not getting all the same benefits that you would get from the F1. I would still recommend the F1 if you want the flexibility of having capsules. Which is pretty cool, which is one of the things that I really liked about the F1. You can just put this on. And now I have two XLR inputs. That's right. And you, there's many options. You can get a uh, shotgun, shotgun mics, microphone, multi-directional. Yeah. yeah. So, again, it's there impressive. are definitely some benefits to having the F1 over yeah. the F2 BT. But for me, I'm oh. so excited about being able to monitor that yeah. I'm actually recording. We've used the F1 for what this is made for. Mm -hmm. So this is probably better than this one for what that we specific do. purpose. Exactly. One other thing you should know about this particular microphone is it comes with a free software and we're going to see if we can just have our uh, audio editor just show, throw in a comment about the software. The software, yeah. The Steinberg's Wave Lab.
Okay, let's take a quick look at WaveLabCast, which is the software you get with the Zoom F2BT. WaveLab is known for being a software used for mastering, but this version is more simple and adapted to podcasts and social media content. The first thing you have to know is that um, WaveLab is not a DAW, so you can't use it for like music production or mixing, and we can't compare it with uh, Reaper, Pro Tools or Logic. Uh, it's more uh, comparable to softwares like Audacity. So it's an audio editor where you make your changes directly on the audio file. Uh, you will usually have uh, one single track to work with, uh, but you can have more than one track in something called audio montage. Um, that looks something like this. It's not a multi-track tool, uh, it's just for putting different clips together. And uh, of course you can use it to record and it supports um, multi-track recording, but you can't uh, mix the tracks. Okay, let's take a look at some tools. Uh, you can do some basic stuff like fades, uh, fade in or fade out. Um, you can mute sections, you can cut and so on. Uh, and then uh, over here you have a master section where you can add plugins like um, restoration tools, uh, let's see, to remove noise and stuff, or you can add EQs, uh, you can add compressors, etc. A cool thing is that you can also add third-party plugins. The cool thing about this software is that you don't have to worry about uh, getting the right level of your audio. Uh, it has uh, loudness presets that you can add depending on, on the platform you're using. So let's say you want to put your video on YouTube. Just select the YouTube option and it puts it in the right levels for you. Yeah, so another cool thing is uh, that if you're using it for a podcast, you can connect it directly to your podcast directory, like Podbean, SoundCloud or Spreaker. And of course, uh, you can export your audio file to different formats. Okay, so this software is great for doing some basic recordings, uh, fixing the audio of your videos, and of course for podcasting. Alright, so that was a quick review of uh, Wave Labcast. Again, we're not ever sponsored by any of these people, oh. so our opinions are real. <laughs> yes. We, we, have, we have a TV daytime job, so we, we are always excited to opening things. We love technical <laughs> stuff, but, but we have no, no reason to be swayed one way or another by either no. product. The Tascams, we love them too. Again, we have Sony's in-house, we have Shure's in-house, we have Sennheiser's in-house, we have Rode in-house, we have... Yeah. We don't have any Newmans. Yet. <laughs> anyway. Have a great, Thank have a you. great day. Thank yeah. you. See you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Hopefully, you liked doing uh, watching this video. We like doing these videos. Don't forget to share to your friends. We want your friends to be our friends. Stay, <laughs> stay awesome. Stay, yeah. stay awesome. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Thanks. Bye. Hej och välkomna till ett avsnitt av programmet Kraft för dagen. I den här fantastiska vintervärlden som vi har just nu. Och idag så ska vi läsa ett kapitel ifrån en bok i Gamla testamentet, Predikaren. Och vi befinner oss just nu i det sjätte kapitlet. Nu har han däremot lämnat fokuset på förgänglighet och istället gått över till att faktiskt dela visdomsord. Och det här kapitlet påminner lite grann just om...